Welcome to Fast Tip Friday. This is Amy Bowser Rollins with Litigation Support Guru. In today's tip, I'm going to share with you a solution that I found for creating a concordance. A concordance is a word list. This is an example of a concordance at the end of a transcript where it lists every word across the entire transcript and the page and the line numbers where that one word appears. So I wanted to do something like this with out a transcript. I wanted to do it across regular files. So I went to Google and I found this free tool called TextStat. And I scrolled down here and I downloaded this zip file. And then once you extract the zip file, you end up with a folder that has the name of the software. And then in the folder is the executable. You don't need to install it. You can just double click on the executable. So once you open the software, this is what it looks like. So what you need to do first is create a corpus, and then you're going to put your Word documents or whatever documents you have into it. So I'm going to click New Corpus, and I'm just going to name it Test. Then it gives you a message saying that the types of files that you can put into your corpus. So in this case, it's mentioning Word, Open Office, text files, HTML, just to give you an idea. Okay, so now we're going to add files. So I'm clicking on Add Local File, and then I'm going to select all of these Word files. Click Open. It takes a few seconds for it to bring back the list of files, and in that amount of time, it's already read all of the words. So if I click on this option right here, Show Word Frequencies, it'll switch to the second tab, which is Word Forms, and it gives you a list of every word it defaults to putting it in descending order by count, and that's not how we would use it, but it gives you the options to change that over here. So we're going to say sort alphabetically and click on frequency list. So that means that numbers are going to show up first. And then I want to scroll down and show you an example of... So notice that it's repeating words, browser-based, browser-based, building and building. As of right now, it defaults to being case sensitive. So it's finding the capital B in each of these words as a different word. And that may be useful depending on what term you're looking for. But in this case, we're going to select case insensitive over here and select frequency list again. So now all of those terms will be combined. So let's just go to a, a word. I'll double click on diagrams. So now when you double click on a term, it brings you over to the concordance tab and it gives you a list of all of the hits, but it's adding context to it. So in this case, it defaults to 40 characters to the left and the right of each of the terms. So now you can see where it sort of fits, the term fits into the sentence. If you want to add more characters, you can adjust this and click refresh. But I'm just going to double click on one of the items. So this brings you to the last tab, which is citation. It gives you much more context so you can figure out how that term is being used or where it's being used in the document. If that's not enough, you can double click on this link to open the document that it found this in. And then last, I want to show you that you can export. So the frequency list is this list right here, the word list. You can export that to a CSV or Excel. And then you can also export the concordance list to text file or Microsoft Word. Okay, I hope you can put this tip to good use.